Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Now, if you are new here, my name is Favrielle Brooks. I do live in Orlando, Florida. I am primarily a makeup artist, but I do dabble in all things beauty. For today's video, I'm sure by my wet hair that you can tell we're gonna be doing a hair video. So I'm gonna be reviewing the new INH blow drying brush. And I'm also gonna be trying an already loved product of theirs, which is the Waver. I can't remember exactly right now how much they both retail for, and of course, because because it's just been so long since I filmed I didn't even think about researching that before I started recording but hopefully I will have that information here for you guys I did get them both for a really good Black Friday bundle that they had the first one I'm gonna be trying is their blow dryer now I did have the Revlon one before so I am gonna be kind of comparing the two I will say already holding this one it feels much lighter than the Revlon one that I really liked the colors of this one it's the the main reason why I wanted to try it. I love the like white with the peach. Now as I'm brushing my hair I'm just gonna kind of talk to you guys about my thoughts on why I bought this as well and I am just gonna brush my hair out with my wet brush. I do really like the Revlon one honestly but I had wanted to get one for my mom because I know that she also likes blow drying her hair so when this one came out I was like you know what instead of buying another Revlon one I was like you know she can just have mine and I'll try this one to see how I feel. I'm kind of that person that even when I do have like holy grail products and things like that, I still like to try new things. So I'm gonna section off the bottom portion of my hair, basically just right by my ears. I am gonna be using a heat protector today. I'm using this one from the brand Waterless. It is their heat shield. It says it protects hair up to 450 degrees, especially because my hair is so healthy because for a long time I did absolutely no heat. This is a step that I just can't skip. And now when I blow dry, I'm actually gonna blow dry on low instead of on high. So I'm gonna tell you now before I start, I am gonna be focusing most of the heat on the roots and then working my way towards the end. This is is usually what takes longer to dry and if this doesn't dry properly at the end the hair ends up not looking great and then when I do finish with each section I'm gonna switch it to cool and give it a nice cold shot and that's just gonna really help lock in the style all right let's get started broke. The cord came out of the outlet. Really quick, because I don't know if you'll be able to tell when I speed up the video, I put my hair on it and then I kind of blow dry upwards first and then I blow dry out. And then as the roots dry and I get closer to the ends, I kind of swoop the hair around the brush and go in like a rotation. This side I am gonna do it on high just because I wanna see how quickly it'll do it and kind of like the power that this has. All right, this baby gets hot. So for the sake of this video, I might actually do the rest of my hair on high heat just because I don't want this to be like 10 hours of editing. Although on the lower speed, it did a really good job, honestly. It's just when you do it on high heat, you finish faster. So that's what I'm trying to do today. But I'm really loving it so far. I actually really like how light it is because I know that by the end of this, my arm is gonna be tired, but I feel like it won't happen that soon. So now I'm just gonna go ahead kind of like where my brow is to about the middle of the back of my head. I know a lot of hairstylists say to do your bangs first. My thing is I hate having them in my face for the rest of the time, so I do them last, honestly. So it's up to you, the preference that you have. about 30 minutes 
to do my full head. I mean, as you guys could see, it's very easy to use because it's so light. I mean, I was able to do all of my hair without even taking a break. Whereas normally if it was like a regular blow dryer, I would probably have to take at least like two breaks because my arms just get so tired. But as you can see, it looks really good. It's got a really pretty shine. As you could tell, I can't stop touching it because it's so soft. Mm. Mm. I mean, my hair kept getting caught in the end, but that kind of happens to me with almost any hair dryer because my hair is so long. I'm very curious to see if this stays kind of looking clean. I will say it did have something on it a second ago and I was able to clean it off pretty good. But other than that, honestly, everything is really nice about this. The bristles don't get too hot, which is nice so I can still like totally touch it. The plates are a little bit warmer, but I mean, I just stopped using it probably like two minutes ago and I'm already able to touch it so that is also another benefit is that you can kind of put it away right away after using it whereas with a regular hair dryer you would usually have to wait a few minutes for the barrel to cool down a little bit that and then it does have this kind of end piece on it that you can kind of hold to like help spin it around I really like it so far I do all right so now I'm gonna move on to the waver all right for the waver it does have an on off button with the blue light you can see it there and then it does show you like how quickly it's warming up and it does have two side buttons where you can kind of decide what heat you would like so today I think I'm gonna keep it around 370 but it does get up to 450 and I do like that it has this so you can kind of stand it although I did end up just bringing my heat mat so while that's warming up it does also come with this heat protectant glove but honestly, I usually don't use the little gloves or anything. I will say this does sort of feel just kind of like a regular glove. So I don't know how heat protecting it is. I'm sure that basically you can like touch the waiver for a quick second wearing this, but you basically just wouldn't want to like leave your hand on it. So I'm going to separate my hair in two. I'm actually just going to start with this entire half just to kind of see how they compare. And then this side, the same way that I did with the hair dryer. I'm gonna part the bottom portion of my hair and I'm gonna clip this up so it does heat up really fast which is nice so it did say to start about two inches from the roots and then to leave the waver for about five to ten seconds I will say this one's a little bit heavier I do have very small hands so I do really gotta like reach for the little lever I think I actually accidentally turned it off I did round two Ooh, okay. I have long hair, so I feel like doing this is going to take a while. So I'm going to go ahead, do the rest of this side, and then I will be back. Okay, I just finished this side. I'm just gonna hit it with a little bit of this. This is the It's a 10 Miracle Finishing Spray. This is just gonna help keep the style in place. And then here in Florida, where it's constantly humid, it's gonna help with that a little bit too. So this is the waiver, and then this is their blow dryer. So obviously they accomplished two different things, but this is what they both look like side by side. And then lastly, I'm just gonna apply some of this Verb Gentle Cleanse and Light Volume Dry Shampoo. My hair gets oily really, really fast and I have like zero volume. So I'm just gonna pop some of this on. Mm -hmm. 
So I'm basically done. It was much easier than I thought it was gonna be to use, especially because my hair is very long. I thought for sure it was gonna take 40 minutes to do because you do have to do kind of section by section. However, it did take about 25 minutes to do all my hair. So it definitely did take a little bit of getting used to, especially trying to get the waves to be even and to start it so that it would be even. The other thing I did wanna mention is that when you do let go of the clamp and it closes around the hair, sometimes depending on how much hair you put or you grabbed, it can like not close very tight around the hair. So I do, when I let go with my thumb, I kind of push on the lever. I don't know if you could see me doing that, just to help it get even tighter around the hair. I do really like this though. It just feels like a really nice way to just add a lot of cool texture. I feel like especially in the summer, this is gonna be so cute because it really does essentially give you like mermaid hair. 100% was expecting to burn myself somehow because I am just so clumsy. Actually, I don't know if you guys have ever noticed, but this scar that I have right here is actually from a curling wand. All right, guys, that is basically it though. So make sure to leave in the comment section down below if you have tried one of these or are you planning on trying one of these. Also, make sure to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and give this video a big thumbs up if you liked it and share it with your friends if you really, really liked it. But that's basically it, guys. So I'll see you in my next video. Bye.